My name's Mark Dibble, this is my wife Claire. Um, we have two children, Aaron, who's 19, and Jacob, who's 11, and he was diagnosed with autism when he was seven. His speech was delayed at around about 18 months. We noticed that he wasn't speaking. Um, and his tantrums, and behaviour issues. Um, we told the health visitor when he was about 18 months, who um, just said he, he was developing normally, walking, reaching all the milestones, nothing to worry about. It was when he started nursery then, and we noticed he wasn't socialising, um, behaviour was yeah. getting worse, wasn't it? And he, yeah. it? His speech was still delayed. So I think it was school then, when he started school, wasn't it? And yeah. He's put on um, special needs register. Yeah. And then the process started then, and we just went around in circles until he was finally diagnosed at seven. That was through the paediatrician. But we were going around in circles, we were given the option if we wanted him diagnosed, what difference would it make if he was diagnosed? Um, and we decided, yeah, it would be better for him if he was. Although we didn't really want it to be on us, we wanted to be proved wrong, but you know, we thought it would be best for, him to, for his education, didn't we? For his development, yeah. Um, we had a home visit um, for Jacob's transition to um, high school um, by Cheryl Deneen. Um, and she mentioned Hope GB and that there were social events that Jacob might be interested in and um, like youth club, we could meet other children. We wanted to have a wide, wide, wider circle of friends and share experiences. So we went along to the jump in Cardiff, wasn't there? Yeah. That's where we met everybody and Jacob met his friends. He was able to uh, just let go then, yeah. didn't he, and, and yeah. be himself, you know, um, which was a, bit, you know, a relief for us and yeah. uh, it, it was just comfortable for us all, wasn't it, really, yeah. you know. And the most important thing for him, I think, was seeing that everybody with autism is, can be different. Everyone's, they're not all the same as what he thought or, you know, what, what he'd read because he was researching himself as well. You know, it was nice for him to see lots of different children. We're a close family. Um, I would say it's probably made us closer, um, you know, but it, it has been difficult. If we were to offer any advice to parents out there, um, whether it be, you know, with diagnosis, anything, um, you know, people to talk to, um, uh, you know, the Hope GB group, the youth club, um, you know, there's people there you can speak to um, and share your experiences with, really. Um, you realise then that you're not, you know, you're not alone. Um, and, it, and it helps a great deal, you know, to speak to other parents who are going through the same things as you, the good, you know, the good days, the bad. Um, and it's been, you know, for us, I think it's been a great lifeline, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You know? Definitely.